Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. As you can see by the title, today I'm actually going to be doing a full face of makeup of the best selling makeup on Amazon. I was very interested to see what makeup is the best selling. I know a lot of us do shop for makeup on Amazon and they do sell every kind of brand from like drugstore to luxury. So I wanted to see what everybody's favorite was. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and that you find it entertaining. And if you do like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. So let's get into it. I was originally going to do the top rated makeup, but to be honest, like a product could have five stars and then another product could have five stars. So I wanted to make sure it was the best selling. Most of them have really good ratings anyways. I think I'm going to start out with the face today. Should I start out with the face? I don't know, you know what, no. Let's start out with the eyes, just because there is an eyeshadow palette that I've never even heard of, but it's the number one Amazon palette. Uh, really quickly, I'm so sorry if it's like kind of dark behind me. It is a very gloomy and rainy day, so let's just make this like cozy vibes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do what I always do, which is apply concealer to my eyelids, set it with a powder, and we will put on some eyeshadow. Alrighty, so this product out of all of the products in this video is actually the only one that I've never heard of and it has such good reviews. So this is called the Lamora Store Best Pro Eyeshadow Palette Makeup Matte Shimmer 16 Colors. This has 24,434 reviews and it is almost at five stars. Like I mentioned, very, very curious about this because all these people seem to love it. So here is a little bit of a close up. It says, be your own kind of beautiful. Wait a minute. Are there really only two matte eyeshadows here? From what I'm looking at, the only eyeshadows that are matte are espresso and cream, and the rest are shimmer. Is this right? All right, well, it is what it is. I really did not think it was like that, but I guess let's try it out. And by the way, this palette was $13.95. Kind of annoyed that there's only two matte shades, so I guess we'll like go in with espresso as a transition shade. We will see how that goes. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe M576 and I'm just gonna put that all over the crease. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just bring it in as well to try to see what I can work with. Okay, so normally to save time, I blend eyeshadows off camera, but you know, at first it looked pretty good, but now I'm having a really hard time blending the shade out and I'm really just blending it on its own, so there shouldn't be a problem, but it seems like it's kind of uh, patchy. I cannot, I cannot blend this out. I already switched uh, brushes as well. Should we do like a purple look today? They're all purple, so I guess I'm gonna grab this shade right here. It's called Plum, and I'm just gonna pack it on the inner and outer corner just to see if we can create like a little halo eye moment. I will say the shimmer is actually looking nice for using it with like a fluffy herb brush and dry. It is giving some glimmer. So, you know, so far, I think I am liking this formula better than the matte. So with my finger first, um, I'm gonna grab the shade bronze, which is like a light bronzy shade. And I'm just gonna put that in the middle just to see what it looks like with my fingers. Okay, so these are pretty pretty good shimmers. They're pigmented. They're not like super glittery, but they are pigmented. Okay, so going in with a wet brush. It definitely looks a little bit brighter. So, you know, if you want to have a little bit more of a dramatic shimmer, I think that the wet brush is usually always the way to go. And then I'm trying to diffuse everything with my other matte shade, but like I mentioned, this shade is definitely not the best. I think it looks pretty, but so far I'm just not impressed. Um, we are gonna finish out the eyes once I have concealer on. So, I don't know. Um, I don't think it's bad for the prize. I understand that not everybody needs a bunch of matte shades. I know that some of us like to do just more simple looks, but I will say two mattes is not enough because this matte brown can't work for every skin tone. And so I feel like 
um, I don't know, I feel like other people might have trouble with this because this brown matte shade is not gonna work for everybody. If you're looking for a palette that's affordable, easy to get from Amazon, that does have nice shimmers. I do think this is nice, but I will say, the drugstore has some great palettes that are around that uh, 10 to $15 range that I think are just a lot better. We will be back to this palette once we are finished with the eyes. Okay, so moving on to eyeliner, the number one eyeliner from Amazon is actually from NYX. So this is the NYX Professional Makeup Mechanical Eyeliner Pencil in the shade Brown. Because it is waterproof, I'm gonna go ahead and tight line as well as put some eyeliner on my eyelids. And I have used this eyeliner before and it's actually really, really nice. It's nice and creamy. As you can see, I don't even have to tug at my eyelid to get it in that waterline. And it works really nice. I understand why this would be a bestseller and uh, you don't have to sharpen it. It's drugstore, it's affordable. As you can see, it is gliding over the eyeshadow really easily and really nicely. I do really like this eyeliner, so I definitely do recommend this. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my lashes and we can talk about the number one mascara. Okay, so the best-selling mascara is pretty predictable. I'm gonna give you two seconds to guess. What do you think is the best-selling mascara? Ding, ding, ding. It is the Essence Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. So it really is kind of like the number one everywhere. Um, I understand why. It's a really good mascara and it's really, really affordable. I have tried a lot of Essence mascaras and I do think that this is probably the best one. Oh my God, kitty. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two coats on both eyes. I'm not gonna do fake lashes today, but um, I really like this. I think it, overall it's a good mascara because it does lengthen, separate, and volumize. And again, it's really inexpensive. So I do understand why most people in the world like it. Alrighty, so this is what two coats gets you. Something else that I like from this is that the wand gets skinny. And so this little part is really good for getting those inner corners. So. Yeah, I totally understand why everybody loves this mascara. I think it's a very, it's a solid mascara, so I get it. Alrighty, so moving on to primer. I was very surprised about this one. I just haven't heard really anyone talk about this primer in a really long time. The e.l.f. Hydrating Face Primer. So, you know, I mean, I just feel like there's been so many other primers out. And I feel like this was like an old school primer. Um, I did have to repurchase this because... I don't know if I have tried it or not. I have no idea, but I'm very excited to try. It's e.l.f., so it's obviously affordable. So let's go ahead and... Oh, this almost looks like a silicone primer. Interesting, so it's a hydrating primer that is also supposed to fill in the lines, but is matte. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply it. Oh, wow, you really don't need that much of it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and apply it on one side of the face. Ooh, this is definitely blurred. Do you guys see like my skin on this side and this side? It's like mattifying, but it doesn't feel matte. It really like smur smurred. <laughs> I was gonna say blurred and smooth, smoothed, smoothed over. I mean, my skin just looks smooth and blurred and matte, but it doesn't feel dry. So here's half of the face. So, okay, okay. I see where y'all are coming from. It feels a little greasy. Um, I know it's supposed to be hydrating, so it's just interesting because it is mattifying, but it doesn't feel matte. So, you know, I don't know how this would work for oily skin because it does feel a little bit on the greasy side, but it looks nice on the skin. So I guess we'll just see how it works with the foundation. But so far I do like it and it's affordable and my skin just looks super smooth. So loving that so far. Number one foundation. This is kind of an obvious one. Um, it's gonna be the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless Liquid Foundation. So this is just like an OG. Um, I haven't used it in a very long time. I did have to repurchase it. I got the shade 310 Sun Beige. It's a little bit light for me. So I'm gonna mix the tiniest bit of the L'Oreal True Match just the hyaluronic acid skin tint, just so we can get a little bit of a darker shade, but it won't change the formula too much. I'm gonna be using my BK Beauty 101. I like to pat and then I'll start buffing. From what I remember, this is like a medium to full coverage. 
I remember liking it a lot, but you know, I obviously try so many products and foundations. So far, I feel like I might fall in love with this all over again. And so far, it's looking so beautiful. It blended out so quickly. It's a nice liquidy formula that blends out in like two seconds. I have a feeling that I might start using this foundation again because it looks flawless. And don't be afraid of the matte. They do have a dewy version, but I do think that if you have like normal skin, the matte won't be drying. I personally don't think it's drying and right now my skin is pretty dry. Wow, that looks great. Um, awesome. So, so far, honestly, the only thing that I'm a little bit iffy about is the eyeshadow, but everything else I completely um, understand why that they're bestsellers. Okay, so number one concealer. Again, this is an OG. So the number one is the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. So I have the shade Sand and I really do like this. I have not used it in a while. It might be a little bit light, but we will make it work. I'm sure you guys already know about this concealer, so I won't talk too much about it, but I definitely want to see if I still like it as much as I used to. I remember it being really good, but again, there's just so many concealers that are out now. The thing about this product is that it does have a pretty thin formula. So if you don't like a lot of product on your face, I think you would really like this. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend it on my face first, just to let it set under the eyes a little bit, try to get as much coverage as possible. All right, so let's blend out these under eyes and lift this face a little bit. Ooh. Yeah, the shade is a little bit too light for my foundation right now, but it's definitely doing its job. I feel like the trend here is that these products that are so popular are products that kind of work for everyone. So they might not be the best for dry skin or oily skin, but they're good for overall everyone. And I feel like that's kind of the theme here. This concealer is really nice. It's not super matte. It's also not super hydrating. So it's kind of in the middle. Same with the foundation. It's not actually that matte, but it's also not super hydrating. So I do think overall, I understand why a a lot of people like these products. As you can see, this concealer uh, worked really, really nicely. Do I have other favorites? Absolutely, but this is a good purchase, and I do think if you wanted to try it out, I do think you would like it. All right, moving on to setting powder. This is gonna bring me back to college. I hope you guys enjoy this nostalgic journey with me. The number one setting powder, it is the Cody Airspun Loose powder and translucent. This bad boy took me through college. Took me through college smelling like a grandma. I'll be honest with you guys, this is still the one I had in college. I do like to keep products once in a while for videos like this. I wouldn't want to repurchase this because I probably wouldn't use it again, but I did like it at some point. I will say this is very inexpensive and you get a lot of product for it. <laughs> This, um, this powder not only reminds me of college, but it just reminds me of early YouTube days, of my early YouTube days when I started my channel. So it's good, it's good, good memories. I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eyes and then I'll use a brush for the face. Oh my God. So this powder, again, it might be like universally flattering, but I don't know, to me it's a little bit too dry. Um, I understand why people like it. It is very inexpensive. You get a lot of product for it. So if you do like to bake a lot, it's a very inexpensive way to be baking. But to me, it's just too drying. So if you do have dry skin, I don't think you're gonna like this actually. I'm gonna take the tiniest amount to set the rest of my face because I can see that it is brightening my eyes a little bit, which is nice for the under eyes, but I don't wanna change the color of my foundation. It is a fine powder. There's way better powders at the drugstore, but um, if you're looking for just like a baking powder that is affordable and it works fine, this is the one for you. Moving on to bronzer, let's do another pop quiz. What do you think is the number one, number one bronzer on Amazon? Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. So that is the number one on Amazon, which again, not shocked, but I will say I do like other bronzers, but 
I really haven't met one person that doesn't like the butter bronzer. So I get it, I get it. I have the shade uh, Deep Bronzer. You know, it's a great bronzer, it smells good. It is a nice formula. It's not actually matte, it's more of like a, a satin. So I do think it does look good on a lot of different people. And they did finally come out with more shades, so it is more universal. And the formula is nice because it's not like overly pigmented, it is buildable. So it's also uh, beginner friendly and it really just melts into the skin. Should be called full face of the most universally flattering makeup products. All right, so now that we are bronzed up, let's use blush. So this is actually a product that I have not used. Very surprised that this is the number one blush just because I haven't even tried it. Um, it is Maybelline again. It seems like Maybelline is like number one in a lot of different categories. It is the Maybelline New York Fit Me Blush in the shade Mauve. I actually ended up getting the shade Rose. Um, I think they didn't have Mauve at my Ulta, but you know, obviously, I think the formula is what speaks. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this to my cheeks. This is a skin tone enhancing color for a natural look. It is a creamy smooth texture for effortless blending and it looks like a matte formula with a little bit of like sparkle in it. It doesn't look like a shimmer formula, but it does have like some sparkles in them. Actually looking at it now, it does look luminous, but not overly luminous. It's definitely, I think it's more of a satin because it's not shimmery, but it's not matte. The formula is buildable. I prefer blushes that are a little bit more pigmented, but I did get it to the pigment that I like. Not my favorite shade, but I do think it looks pretty and I understand why a lot of people would like these. Okay. I already have brow gel on, but the number one brow product is actually a brow pencil. And it is an old favorite of mine. Again, college days. It is the Maybelline. Again, it is a Total Temptation Brow Definer. I got the shade Medium Brown. I remember when it came out, I actually, I think I worked with Maybelline when this came out. I did like a post for Instagram. Um, it's a great product. I did have to obviously repurchase it. I like the spoolie because it's little. I prefer little spoolies nowadays. And this brow pencil actually, I remember it was one of the first brow pencils for me to have that like diamond shape, which I actually really enjoy. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some strokes to my eyebrows. It is a nice, creamy, affordable pencil. If you're looking for a new pencil that isn't super thin, that it does have a little bit more of a diamond shape, I do think that you'll enjoy it. The pencil is not like super waxy, but it's not also like super pigmented. So I do think that, um, you know, a lot of people would like it. This eyebrow has been giving me problems for a couple weeks now. So we're just gonna leave it as is. Okay, so I'm quickly just gonna finish out the lower lash line. I'm just gonna grab that matte brown shade and put it on my lower lash line and just add a little bit of the shimmer purple just to kind of match the top. And then I'm gonna grab the shade Comfort, which is like a rose gold shade and use that in my inner corner. And of course, I am going to just add some of that Lash Princess Mascara on the bottom lashes. Alrighty guys, moving on to highlights. This is an old favorite of mine. So the best highlight is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Highlighter in the shade Golden Flower Crown. This used to be like my go-to. I love it. Um, I still think it's an amazing product. I just don't use that much highlight anymore. I like to keep it more simple. But if you're looking for a very blinding, great formula, gold highlight, you would love this. Um, it's also not super pale or super yellow, so I do think it would work for a lot of skin tones. I'm going in with a light hand, but as you can see, even with a light hand, it's blinding. And it's so affordable. It's such a pretty highlight. I have not worn this much highlight in a long time. Alrighty, so I'm gonna go ahead and set my face now. Um, the number one setting spray on Amazon is actually, <clears throat> Let me repeat that. The number one best-selling setting spray on Amazon is this one. It is the NYX Matte Finish Long-Lasting Setting Spray. And it has a lot of really good reviews. It is described as a lightweight, water-based setting spray that keeps your makeup looking matte and amazing. I've never used this before, so let's go ahead and give it a whirl. Woo, it's a good sprayer, but you do have to like keep your hand like, like this. 
but it did spray nicely and evenly. Obviously with setting spray, you kind of have to see how your makeup wears, but so far um, it looks good on the skin. So, so far so good. Okay, so moving on to lips, the number one pencil on Amazon is the NYX Professional Makeup lip pencil of course which are amazing um so we do have a lot of nyx and maybelline products it seems so i have the shade natural and mauve i think i'm gonna go with mauve because we do have a little bit of a darker lipstick these are great they're inexpensive and they're great so if you just need a good lip pencil whether it's expensive or not these are awesome so again, this is the shade Mauve, and it's super pretty. It's definitely like a purpley pink medium tone. And for the number one lip product, again, I'm very, it's not that I'm surprised, but this was the number one also like the best seller from Ulta. I've done this video before, but for Ulta products. And again, it's the Maybelline New York Superstay Matte Ink Liquid Lipstick. Um, I decided to buy a new shade just for the sake of it. So I got Amazonian which I just realized is probably not gonna go with the eye look, but it's okay. Um, it's a good formula, it's just, I don't know, there's just better formulas out there. Oh yeah, this is not gonna go with the eyeshadow. <laughs> Let me tell you about this formula. It's good and long lasting, but it does get, um, it's like a thicker formula. So if you're looking just for a long lasting liquid lipstick, this is a really good one and an affordable option. But if you don't like something that's too heavy on the lips, sometimes a little bit sticky, um, it is this way. So while it's drying down, it's like sticky. Once it's fully dried down, it just feels like a thick layer on your lips. Again, it is long lasting, but it is heavy feeling. So personally for me, I don't like having like a heavy feeling on my lips. But if you're just looking for a long lasting liquid lipstick, no matter what, I do think you would like it. Alrighty guys, and that is the end of the video. I hope that you liked it, found it entertaining, found it helpful. I will link every product down below. I think I'm going to go ahead and link the Amazon link as well as like an Ulta link because... I prefer to shop at Ulta to get rewards, but if you prefer that two-day shipping, I will also do an Amazon link for you guys. So uh, whatever you guys prefer, I will have it down there as well. So yeah, I hope that you guys like this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We're almost at 100K. Guys, help me get there. Share it with your friends and family, my videos, my channel. I would really appreciate it. Let's get to 100K together. And once we do, I will have a really nice giveaway for you guys. But thank you guys so much for all the love. I love you guys so much. Much, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!